G'day, Blue Boy here. I'm gonna try out the new 2020 Ultiplex tent to see how it sets up with my Z-Pax rain skirt to see if I can use that successfully uh, to provide a little awning uh, out the front the way I'd like to do with my duplex a few years ago. Uh, it's been raining here this afternoon and sort of stopped there. I thought, man, let's test this out and see how it goes. dark so it's a bit of a race against time. Lucky I've got my blue boy fast pitch method. Guaranteed to pitch these babies first time perfectly every time. There's a little uh, buck up in there you gotta make sure you get the pole in. I didn't realise that so give me in here. Beautiful. I'm not going to do the uh, pull out, so I'm just running out of light. So I'm just going to go straight to the uh, straight to trying out this guy. So I need, need a few other bits and pieces. I need uh, some poles. So I've got these 48 inch um, carbon fibre poles that I used to use from the duplex. And I used from a Plexamid, one of these. I've got one of those. Two. So they're ready to go. And then I've got these uh, pole caps, which are, again, z packs things that I've used over the years. They're pretty cool, pretty good. So they'll be ready to go. And then I've got the actual rain skirt. And the way it works is I need some little, hey, right, here we go. I need some uh, mitten hooks. There's one mitten hook, one mitten hook, two mitten hook. There's some guy there, some uh, bungee cord I mean. Now I'm probably going to need the bungee cord. Wow, what a mission that was. Mosquitoes ate me alive, but I managed to get it up. Uh, yeah, it's got good uh, good coverage, so you could definitely cook in here, out here, and you know it's raining and put your gear and stuff out there. Very civilized. I definitely want to make sure the mitten hooks were much more like permanently connected, and I knew how to do it. it took me forever, but uh, yeah, works quite well. I quite like that. So your rain skirt plus your duplex with the sort of the arms out there. That multi-purposing with Dyneema DCF fabric to the max. I don't know whether it's uh, worth all the fluffing around, but probably is. Yeah. Um, my long-term goal is actually to get some sort of um, apex, like V-shape there, to put two longer thin carbon fiber poles down that side, so it completely opens up this doorway and eliminates this uh, center pole. Uh, I'd be prepared to carry two lightweight carbon fiber poles that go right down you know, over to the fire edges, completely sort of missing the doorway. And then that, that coupled with the, um, with the, you know, like this, uh, this awning creates a really livable, lightweight um, shelter system that gives you flexibility and protection even when it's drizzling and raining. Somewhere to work or somewhere to cook. Okay, let's have a look around. Let's do a spin around. 